Once you sign in, you will be at the quote screen where the bid and ask price for your currencies will appear. Now, if you see the plus in the top right corner, you can click that, click ECN, and you can add in new currencies if you please. Okay, now, if you actually click and hold on a currency, you will get an option menu to pop up. What we want to do here is click charts. When we click charts, you will see a chart appear with candlesticks for this specific pair that you selected. You have options at the bottom. Now, if you click on the chart, you can actually have the menu pop up. We're going to click trade where you can actually execute a trade if you want to. If you look closely, you can see stop loss, take profit. Now, if you want to adjust these, just click in there and numbers will appear. You can manually adjust them that way or click the plus sign to move your stop loss up like I'm doing. You can also click in where it says not set for take profit and adjust that manually or click the minus sign to send it down. Vice versa. Now in the middle you have the trade. I have a trade open here. What you can do is swipe that trade to the left and you will have options up here. The first option here is meant to close your trade. If we swipe to the left again, the second option here is where we can modify our stop loss and take profit. If we swipe again, we have a plus option where we can execute a new trade on that specific pair. I want to show you a trick. Click the pair at the top and you can switch the pair you want to trade on. Swipe to the left once more and you will be back on your candlestick chart. Now if we click in your candlestick chart once more, you will see options pop up. In the top left corner, you have your time frame that you want to look at your charts on. Here is the crosshair, which looks like the plus. Next to that, actually look, if you hold down on your indicator and drag that down, you can actually create more space on your screen. Now, if you click the F, this is the indicator screen. Here, you can add new indicators and adjust current indicators that you're using. If we go back to the indicator screen, I will show you how you can delete indicators. Slide to the left and delete. Now, we have the objects menu. You have all of your objects here to conduct your analysis on your charts just like the desktop view this is the history tab to check the history of your trades took a brutal beating on that one no worries last tab is settings trade account otp charts mailbox news journal and about if we click charts we have options to adjust our charts to our preferences bar chart candlestick line chart we have our volumes, ask, price line, period separators, and trade volumes. You can turn those on and off if you please. Now, if we click colors, you can adjust how you want the layout of your candlestick charts to look, your bar charts or line charts. You can adjust the colors to give you something to look at so you're not just bored looking at a green and black all day. I didn't do too much adjusting. You know, you can kind of play around with it. See what you find. I'm going to close this trade out. But I promise you, this app is very user friendly. So thank you for watching this video. If it helped you out, please leave a comment, subscribe, and like. Um, if you have any questions or need assistance, please feel free to contact me. I will leave my number in the description. Feel free to call me anytime. And happy trading. All we do is numbers. While well, I just sit back and laugh, and I just hope that everyone is pleased and listen with ease. And